Assalamu alaikum. This is a presentation on one variant of multiple Z plastids, a variant of multiple Z plastids in series that you would consider if you are working in a surgical field with limited tissues in the transverse axis to the Z plasty, or if these tissues are uh, inelastic, like if you are working in the lips, the eyelids, or the fingers. Why would you consider multiple Z-plastis instead of a single Z-plasti? And why would you choose multiple Z-plastis in series rather than in parallel? Um, the answer is if you have limited adjacent transverse tissue, this would be the preferable option. We are dealing here with a four centimeters um, scar or a web. And in order to do the conventional uh, classic Z plasty, you would need four centimeters above and below the uh, the scar. But if you choose multiple Z plasties, you can do with one centimeter, but do it four times. And so you are not recruited much of the tissues above and below the uh, scar or the web. You are dealing only with uh, one centimeter here, and you are doing it four times. This happens in situations like if you are working in the palate, the pharynx, um, the lips, the eyelids, um, any field with limited tissues in the transverse axis to uh, your Z plus D, or if these tissues are inelastic. The fundamental feature of these multiple Z plus this in series is that the central axis of the scar or of the web that you are going to uh, consider doing the Z-plasty on will be divided into smaller units forming the central limb of multiple Z-plasties. So in this example, we've divided the central axis into two units with two Z-plasties going in the same direction, unidirectional, multiple in series uh, Z-plasties. Or you can do it in reverse, like you still divide the central axis into two, but you have the Z-plastis opposing each other. How many multiple Z-plastis would you want to do on this? It all depends on how much tissues you have in the transverse axis that are lax enough to be transposed, recruited and transposed into the um, central limb axis. So if that's a, for example, this is a four centimeter, um, central limb and you can divide this into four units if all what is available to you is one centimeter above and below the central axis if you have more you can divide it into two units each two centimeters like in this example or the other example two centimeters above and below the central axis are uh, lax and are sufficient to do the multiple z velocity it doesn't require uh, much of uh, the tissues in the transverse direction, but it still provides you with lengthening of the central limb that is equivalent to the amount of lengthening you would get if you've done the uh, classic z plasty uh, with all the four centimeters in this uh, example. Why would the multiple uh, z plasties in series provide the same lengthening effect and the central axis like the uh, conventional or the classic Z-plasty, while at the same time preserving the tissues displacement from the transverse axis, is because when you are doing four of these, you still get a 75% lengthening effect for each of these units collectively. The four centimeters could extend up to, in theory, another three centimeters up there. The same will happen with the double opposing. If you have a four centimeter and you're doing two z plasties uh, each two centimeters in the central limb, you still get the 75% increase. Uh, so you still have a three centimeters uh, increase in the length of the central limb. But here you've only taken one centimeter above and below the uh, central limb and here you've taken two centimeters because the central limb in this example is two centimeters is only half the four centimeters
there are two variants for the multiple Z plastids in series. One of them is in this example, the Z plastid in series uh, that goes in the same direction. And here, rather than having the full four centimeters, we'll do with half of it because we don't have enough tissues above and below. If we have only two centimeters, then we'll do a double Z plastic, multiple Z plastic, each two centimeter in the central limb and in the, uh, 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 the lateral limbs as well. Um, so we have saved two centimeters here and two centimeters there. And once the mini flaps are um, raised off and freed by undermining, then you can start transposing the first two uh, flaps here and then transpose the successive Z plus this flap. And once sutured, you get the um, original lengthening effect of 75% in theory. In, in reality, this is much less than that. And this is to demonstrate how you plan the other variant of the multiple z plastids in series, the double opposing uh, z plasty. What you do here is now you're dividing the uh, central limb of four centimeters into two pieces each two centimeters and doing two opposing z plasties. The classic angle here is not just 60, it's 75 degrees uh, for a good reason is to allow better blood supply from the top to the central um, uh, flap in here and then uh, you do the two other lateral limbs of the z plus the each with 60 degrees and so now this the blood supply to the central flap is coming from a wider space rather than the narrower space if you have choose to do a 60 degrees rather than 70 or 75 degrees you still get this uh, angle as 60 and have two 60s uh, on either side. It doesn't have to be exactly 60. You can choose sometimes to increase it on one side and decrease it on the other. And you can also modify these uh, lines. It doesn't have to be a straight line. It can be a broken line or a curved line. But the idea remains the same. You are going to, this is a curvilinear line, for example. We still divide the central axis, whether it is the straight or the curved lines, into two and form two Z plastics based on this uh, half central axis here and the other half in there with angles that uh, varied between 60 and above in this, in this example to allow better blood supply from uh, the top of the central flap. And this is to demonstrate the technique of the double opposing Z plus D. Um, if you've divided the central limb into two and you form two opposing Z plasters and you've divided the big flap into two flaps, so you've ended up with five flaps in here. And once the flaps are elevated and undermined, then you can start interposing these flaps. You better start with the central flap in between the two halves of the bigger flap in there and once secured in position you can transpose the two uh, flaps on the right and the two flaps on the left and secure them so you have now transposed the five flaps in position And once they are sutured, you would notice the increase in the length of the central limb because now you have five flaps and they're incorporating into there. In theory, this should be about 75%. In reality, it's, it's a bit less than this. The Ferlow's procedure and the repair of the cleft palates is a, a slight modification of this variant of multiple Z plus this in series. The uh, other uses of this technique 
and the face or the fingers are obvious. Just a simple modification of the uh, technique of multiple Z plasties, one of them going in the same direction and the other in opposing directions. Salam alaikum.